Alright, so yeah, I was right. The Nemesis wouldn't attack until we were beyond the set piece of, uh, until we were beyond the sewer. Should I carry this around? I'm going to put it away, even though it might might be useful. It seems like a good thing to have later on in the game. Damn it, I dodged. <laughs> she didn't even flinch. I expect her to at least perform the animation. Okay, now it's saying stars. It wasn't doing that before. I was going to say, how does she know that it's after her? Because it wasn't saying stars. It wasn't explicitly hunting her down. Or it didn't seem like it. You could jump that. Come on. Hurry the fuck up. This may be a controversial opinion, I'm going to put it forward here. But the Nemesis is nowhere near as... The encounters with it are nowhere near as tense as the Tyrant was in 2. It's really only chasing us through these somewhat like abbreviated or linear sections. It's not like it was set when the Tyrant was set loose on us in... Resident Evil 2, and you just sort of had to stay out of its way. That's not happening here. Uh, I have an idea. Yep, this sub uh, this a uh, boss arena. This is a... Come, come at me, bro. I got something for you. Oh shit, he closed that distance a lot quicker than I thought he would. Oh, 
Man, calm the fuck down, Nemesis. How did she not burn up right there? Gotta be getting close. Yeah, you're fine. It was just your skin that was on fire. Got him. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Still kicking? Do I just shoot it now? Something, I guess. <sighs> she just dove into the fire. <laughs> I'll have to prepare for battle proper. And now that I know what to do, the, um, taking out the, taking out the thing on its back, I can uh, approach this a little bit more intelligently. I wonder if the grenade launcher actually does me any good. I didn't bring the, f the explosive rounds, did I? Oh, did I have the explosive rounds yet? I'm an idiot. I wonder if I could hit that thing. Oh, she's messed up. Where did he get that? All right, so here we go. Still kicking? Oh, shit. Some bitch dodged.
fucked up freezing. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't pick up that last ammo. There was some ammo up there I didn't pick up because I thought maybe I'd be able to get it once the fight was over. Fuck that up. Where am I? I'm in a new new area. Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. All right. Yeah. Bastard's dead. That's probably not the easiest thing to walk across. <laughs> it's a ladder. Oh, there are zombies down here. Oh, this looks familiar. It's outside the police station. Next to Kendo's gun shop. Can't go that way. Kendo! You alive still? Shit. Hmm. Scope for a shotgun, huh? Alright, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna have to come back. Oh, nope, I don't have to. There's an item box. Shit, Jill. Kendo, you're all right. You all all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's going to be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a... Uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. Of course. Of course, uh, Kendo, his daughter, was bit by a zombie, and she's going to die pretty... Well, she dies, I guess, after Chris, or after Leon and Claire, uh, rather, uh, Leon runs into him. Leon and Ada. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking this was a, sc a scope. Did 
Do I have everything in here? Leon and Ada went that way. Okay, I guess she's already been bit. So. That's why he's not willing to leave. Hmm. Oh, there's something else I missed in there. I have a lot of shit here. And the shotgun's now taking up two spaces. Uh, even though they said that Kendo said that I had to take the service alley, I'm going to head over here anyway, because this was the garage for the police department. Just want to see if there's anything here. Turn your flashlight on, Jill. Yep. What was that? That was high-grade gunpowder. It's also, it says there's some ammunition up here. So I'm going to get that. I don't want to be missing out on ammo like an idiot. Oh, it was on that side. Shit. Uh, I can't go back. See, that was a big difference between this and the previous game. You had, like, except for the first area, the gas station, and the short walk to the police station, you were able to, pretty late in the game, like up until the end of the sewers, be able to backtrack all the way to the beginning. In this, I mean, there's a lot of passing through areas that you're not going to see again. Pretty sure this doesn't lead to the police station, but whatever. Ah, motherfucker. I'm not coming back here, so fuck it. Hey! Okay. Ah, see. I was starting to think carrying this around still was a waste. Ah. Okay. I sense a nemesis approaching. Or a something. Ah! Ha, ha. Oh, so fucking predictable. Of course, he's got a rocket launcher now. Rocket launcher? Really? Ah. What? <laughs> Come on. I hate stagger hits.
Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed him. Me too. What? Thanks. Damage her in a cutscene and then give me a first aid spray. Oh, she's fine. She's not actually hurt. It's just cinematics. Jim's Crabs. There's something to find in this area. Although this looks like another battle arena. Oh, this is a... I was already here. I'll take a look around as long as Nemesis isn't here. Might be something worth taking. What the fuck? Oh, that had to suck. <laughs> so I had the Indiana Jones my way out of this shit. I can't do a quick turnaround, can I? It rolled right through that umbrella. Uh, alright, okay. Something here. Sudden big set pieces. I mean, one hand is pretty cool, but I don't know the the threat of running into the tyrant just when you open the door and you. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for listening. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, and you'll be safe. The the threat of the ah damn it! <laughs> I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's 
fine by me. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you. Leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlos's world. Okay. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. See? You're learning. You know life that matters. Good luck. Let's go. You don't really think it been so crucial like part of this life, do you? I haven't done good authority. Why? You will read about demons? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> How is Jill not dead yet? Oh, it's been a while. Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. How long with your hot date? No, she's not like that. No, she's not like anybody. Plain as Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Alright, plain as Carlos now.